I Am Angus is proudly brought to you by the Angus Foundation. Thank you for making a difference today in the future of Angus kids by making a year-end tax-deductible gift to the Angus Foundation. To learn more, visit angusfoundation.org. Many have heard of George Grant, the Scottish silk merchant who brought the first Angus bulls to America in 1873. But very few know the story of the most important woman in his life, his niece, Margaret. During the five years they were together near Victoria, Kansas, she remained in the shadows, quietly supporting his endeavors. It was a fascinating period to be alive. She was a first-hand witness to the end of the frontier, a participant in the high point of European settlement on the prairie. It was also a period of struggle and strife. Margaret was no stranger to hardship. As a young girl, her parents were tragically killed in an accident in England. Shortly after, Uncle George, a bachelor, took her in and cared for her as though she were his own. He was well positioned to do so, having accumulated vast wealth after he cornered the market for black silk prior to the death of Prince Albert. George used his fortune to purchase tens of thousands of acres in western Kansas to establish his dream of a British colony. Together, he and Margaret and other British gentry set out with his Angus bulls to change the face of ranching. But soon, life on the prairie proved harsh, too harsh. Drought, plagues, and wildfires swept across the ranch in waves, and many of the settlers in Grant's colony left defeated and nearly penniless. The stubborn few who remained were often met with tragedy, including Grant, who passed away in 1878 without realizing his dream. Margaret once again left without family, surrounded by the home she had built with her uncle and facing financial catastrophe. She always said it was real hard to not have the money after they had had so much for so many years, but she enjoyed it. She stayed in the home and she got the 40, 160 acres of land and she got the home and then some money. And then uh, they lived there and she, uh, John Duncan, my grandfather, was working for them as a hand, farm hand. And she stayed and finally she asked him to marry her because she once loved him and she thought she'd make a good husband. The two raised four children in the Stone Grant home before they sold the property and moved to Laredo, Kansas, where their descendants continued to raise cattle until the early 1990s. Today, the memory of George and Margaret lives on with her descendants, the Nunnemaker family in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Margaret's granddaughter, Twyla, and her husband, Wes, who ranched for most of their lives, just celebrated their 75th anniversary. The couple, along with their son Wayne, have preserved many of the original Grant artifacts, a lasting legacy, a direct connection to the early days of American Angus. Uh, the, we, we, when I was a child, we visited them. My folks would go back up for the weekend, maybe, and visit the different people that came over. We had, we stayed all night, Wes and I have, in this home with the... I don't know how much time we have, but I could tell you a lot of stories about George Grant that I've heard over the last 75 or 80 years. I was happy to become a, a part of this family because it's one of the most outstanding families in the area. And I happened to have, be able to get the cream of the crop. My wife was a uh, one of the great, great nieces, I guess, of uh, George Grant, and uh, I've enjoyed being a part of the family. You know, it's, it's our heritage. It's, uh, it's where we came from. It's who we are. We're proud of, uh, proud of our ancestry. Uh, it's impressive that George Grant really brought the Angus to the United States, and uh, now that it's it's becoming so widespread. 
Margaret would have had to be the same kind of person. I mean, you know, the women probably were as tough as the men back then. They held a lot of things together. It, it, they had to be really strong, strong-willed and, and determined. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of I Am Angus. To watch these segments online or to find all kinds of information about Angus cattle, visit angus.org. We'll see you again on December 27th when we bring you an all new episode of I Am Angus. Until then, I'm Doug Medlock. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>